When I think of August Osage County, I think of generations of abuse and bad parenting and unchecked issues that needed to be dealt with in that play. And, 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 and we all recognize the scene at the dinner table to varying degrees. We've right. all been at a dinner table with extended family and realized how messed up we all are. Right. But to be able to write something like that and have so much of that material, that source material be autobiographical, it does make me wonder if all of your playwriting and your desire to express yourself that way was leading up to trying to figure your family out. I think that's probably the case, sure. Uh, uh, you know, I, how long did it take me to write August Osage County? 30 years. That's kind of the joke, right? It how was, old were you when you wrote it? 40. Oh, uh, and you were 10 when your yeah. grandfather committed suicide. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I put all my thoughts and feelings about my family and my extended family in there. There's a great moment in the show uh, at the dinner table, in the dinner table scene. Violet, the grandmother, says uh, something very nasty to the, to the kid, to Gene. And the actors, Amy Morton and Jeff Perry, who did it in the original production, as soon as Violet lashed out at Jean, they always wanted to turn, Amy and Jeff, and comfort Jean and check in with her and put their hands on her, make sure she was all right, and I wouldn't let them do it. I said, don't pay any attention to her. You don't pay any attention to her. And they couldn't fathom it. They were like, what? Jeff is a parent, Amy's not, but they, they just couldn't fathom that they wouldn't take care of their teenage daughter in that moment. Why do we not take care of her? I was like, because you, you've taken your eye off the ball. You're not a bad parent. You're having a bad moment as a parent. It's not a good parenting moment. And I, again, I was 10 years old. There wasn't a lot of concern for me when my grandfather committed suicide. They just, they had their, they had their hands full. Their, their, their minds were occupied with other stuff. They were reeling and they took their eye off the ball. And my dad asked me when I was writing it, he said, why are you writing this? And I said, well, you know, those events uh, have haunted me for 30 years. He said, they have? <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> yeah, they have. <laughs> He's like, didn't I buy you an ice cream? We were all good. <laughs> it just hadn't occurred to them. It still hadn't occurred to them until we went Did to work on the Did it not occur to him that there was some collateral damage? Isn't that funny? Different generation, different, you know. I think it's so natural, I think it's so human that, that you, don't, you don't necessarily notice that stuff. I think ideas about parenting have changed so much in Very just much. a couple of generations. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, 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 have, I have no resentment about that. I have nothing but uh, forgiveness for that. Even when I gave the script to my mom finally to read after I was done with it, and my mom's first comment was, I mean, and she was troubled by it. She had to kind of collect herself to talk to me, and she collected herself, and she, the first thing she said was, you've been very kind to my mother. You're kidding me. No. Meeting Violet. Yeah. Who comes off as yeah. horrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel for you. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so fascinated by the ancillary benefits that come from the pursuits that we think are artistic and, and really maybe what we're doing without knowing it is re-educating ourselves or rewiring ourselves. Yeah. All the writing I've done has taken a big piece out of me and it's all I've learned from everything I've written. Not always in the moment. Sometimes it's a little bit later I look back and I say, oh, that's what that was teaching me. That's what I was trying to work out. That's what I was occupied, preoccupied with. That's what I was, I was trying to get at something with that play. And I didn't even know it when I was working on it, but ultimately that's why I was working on it. What do you think you were really trying to get to there? Acceptance. acceptance. Forgiveness, acceptance. Yeah. 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 Looking at my fam my, my great big up family and not only accepting it, but of course what we learned from the play and the success of the play was, oh, everybody's got a great big up family. 
everybody. And if they say they don't, they're lying. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.